hi to Chaco. Let's see, we have Org Worker here in the red. And in the blue, we have Moon, of course. Moon is attacking Org Worker. Moon at 45 supply. Org Worker at 45 supply. Chaco, one question. If Undead and any other race fight in the Undead base and the Lich dies, could you buy a second orb for the Dark Ranger or is it still stupid? Oh, no, that's very smart, actually. That's, uh... Especially like in, like Happy, he had an expansion, he had enough money. I definitely think um, buying an orb there on Dark Ranger would have been good. The piggy gets dispelled after getting lightning shielded. And this is not creep deck, but this item is very important. Plus six mana here. It's alright. And there's a TP out, level one shockwave. Let's see, moon, what is supply? Moon 44, orc worker 48. Level 3 TC now, Blade Bash level 3 as well, has level 2 critical strike, picks up the Stone of Knowledge, that's nice. Moon's Beastmaster is still level 1, almost level 2, but it's not that important. Yeah, Moon's heroes are a bit weaker than an Orc Worker, but Moon has equal supply and uh, equal items. Two healing potions, a heal scroll, info potion. Moon maybe even has better items. Goku Imba. Yeah, I mean, if we're talking about the story, I feel like uh, there's too much emphasis on, on Goku in Dragon Ball Z. He, he always is like the hero and all this shit, and I don't even like him that much. That's one of the things I like less about Dragon Ball Z. It's too predictable. Always thought streamers named Shako after LOL hero. Just understands actually Shako. I don't even, I've never even played Lord, uh, League of Legends, so. Didn't even know there was a hero called Shako. Super Saiyan 4 owns Blade Master. Ah, that depends on the items on the Blade Master. But you must not have Dark Arrow turned on on other cards, else the orb won't have an effect. Isn't it the other way around? I don't remember. Maybe you're right. I thought it was uh, as long as you have the orb, the arrow will never have any effect, even if you have it on other cards. But I don't know. There's another nice shockwave hitting two or three dudes of the tail and uh, and the Beastmaster. So actually not that great of a nice shockwave. Still have a healing stroll here for Moon. The Pocket Factory in the back is always nice. And there's another shockwave killing even one uh, dude of the tail. And he still has that healing scroll but just doesn't want to use it. There's one more dude of the tail. And when is he going to use it? There's a... Uh, was that a mana burn on the TC? I think so. And he finally used that healing scroll. These uh, Raiders here being uh, cycloned on the side. They're killing this Druid of the Talon. This Druid of the Talon being Michael to the left. Uh, there is a uh, Dispel, the Blade Master. What is he going to kill? He's going for the Demon Hunter. There's a 132 critical strike and then a miss. Then an evil potion. And there's a Pocket Factory. Protected by Druids of the Talon. Pretty decent uh, position there. These uh, these, Druid, uh, these Raiders being cycloned. One Druid of the Talon is, uh, is dead there. And uh, the Demon Hunter is still fighting here in the back row. The TC has, doesn't have any mana. Beastmaster fighting here. And finally, the Pocket Factory went down, of course, to these uh, Spirit Walkers. He should kill the Spirit Walkers. He's so low on hit points. Uh, the Druids of the Talon can kill them. And, uh, well, let's see. The one more Druid of the Talon is dying. These, I feel like these Druids of the Talons have been walking too much and not been... Uh, of course, they don't do a lot of damage, but against... The, oh, there goes the Demon Hunter. Against these uh, Spirit Walkers, they do do decent amount of damage. They can kill them. And it uh, looks like Moon is losing this game against Orc Worker. He's, uh... Well, he has uh, no more Demon Hunter. And of course, without Demon Hunter, you cannot win the game. The Tinker is going down. The Beast Master is going down. The everything... Oh, Demon Hunter is back. So I take everything back with the Demon Hunter, of course. He can still win this game. Maybe. He's 10 supply behind, which is uh, not that bad. If he can heal back up, get back into the fight with the Demon Hunter. He still has a chance. Okay, he does have a staff of teleportation. So, uh, yeah, actually, the game is not over yet. There's a cyclone of the TC. Maybe he can get the surround and kill the TC. And then Moon is back into an advantageous position, even. There's a nice shockwave hitting like two or three dudes of the Talon. There's another uh, cyclone. But this TC, you should probably move around him and, you know, kill him. What's the Demon Hunter? Oh, Demon Hunter's over there. Uh, there's a nice cyclone on the blade master. Where's the beast master? I thought the beast master was still alive. He's still alive. He's over there. Just uh, drinking some moon juice while the demon hunter is fighting here by himself. Was it uh, with his druids of the Talon? 
Uh, there go all the spirit walkers though, and this radio for your lone hit points as well. Beastmasters finally decided to uh, move out and help. He kills that uh, raider. There's Mr. Beastmaster, still level 2 only. There's level 1 piggy. TC healed back up to uh, over 200 hit points. There's a nice cyclone on the TC. That's wrong. That's not TC, that's a blade master. Cyclone on the blade master is what I meant. TC running for his life, but he's being hunted down. But he will be able to run like a true TC can. High prop. Um. What the fuck, Worker beating Moon? I mean, Worker can beat Moon now and then. Of course, uh, Moon has the, is the favorite in this matchup. But Worker, he's not bad. If Worker is gonna flame Moon, I will... We don't see the chat anyway, Prop, so we don't know what they're saying. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? We have um, the Beastmaster, almost level 3. We have a chat there for a little bit. Moon is 6 supply behind, but actually Moon... What a shitty shockwave there. I'm not sure if it's anything. This is looking very bad for Earth Worker. Uh, let's see, the Beastmaster, maybe with some critical strikes. He can kill the Beastmaster and I'll take it back. It's looking very nice for Earth Worker. Um, killing the Beastmaster. Of course, the hero levels, I didn't think about them. Level 4 and level 4 are a bit better than 422, I think. He needed a level 3 Beastmaster ASAP. Uh, this uh, Spirit Walker does go down though. And the, uh, the how do you call them? Truths of the Talon. They are very strong. They uh, apparently is looking good for Moon after all. He's, uh, there's only one Spirit Walker left. And he uses it, his mana for a Spirit Link. Tinker over here in the top could uh, go down very fast. Because he only has 300 hit points. The TC is very low on hit points as well though. And uh, well the Demon Hunter is being... Beautiful uh, position to be uh, ensnared. He wasn't able to kill anything. One more raider goes down. This uh, spirit walker takes a bit of damage. The blade master is going. To oh! If he's not going to save the blade master, the blade master is going to die. He needs to save him somehow. Maybe by heal skull. Uh, there is heal skull available. I'm not sure if he has gold. He does have the gold, but is going to be in time. The blade master taking quite some damage. Do we have spirit link? We don't. The Blade Master kills something. He's level 5 now. And there's a heal skull just in time. No. Actually, no. There was no heal skull. The Blade Master did go down. I guess he didn't. No, what? Why did he not buy the heal skull? Uh, it loses a raider there. And there it is. GG.